All right, who do we have on? Uh, so Mac is here. Um, that's good. Mac, I'll let you, because I saw your DM, but I'll let you decide who goes what. I'd say for Charlie's group that isn't part of a dedicated squad, they shouldn't be the medic group, but you divide them how you want. Who the hell is hot micing me? Mac? Lexicon, you're hot micing me. Can you go to push to talk or something? I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Is Mac AFK? He's uh, it is Monday. busy humping the hollow. Probably. Anyway, all right, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, Charlie, you get the T28, so scroll all the way down to the bottom. Uh, Alpha's specialist team, I'm going to make you the medic team, and Bravo, you get a Maxim. These are what Mac Marine wrote to me, so that's what we're working with. Uh, mm. Alpha's specialists need to go down and take the medic team. So you have your medical perms. Jay-Z, scary. All right. What is it? Oh, medic is that team, medic team, team one. one. For, uh, the uh, alpha specialist? Alpha. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is what Mac wrote me in a DM, so Sending we're gonna go, go with that. team six now. Then a bit. Hi, Lero. Hey, grounders. I am the doctor now. Right. I am going to push us the map. As we push in the map, I'm going to explain a few things. Uh, number one, I wrote down a bunch of list fixes. Um, that was put in announcements and an afterthought. I'll explain a few more things, though, because I know you guys don't read. And it just... Okay, why did it do that? It said bad vehicle type. I don't know why. Okay, it was just one of those single errors that didn't push through, but that's weird because when I tested it, it didn't even throw that error. So just grab your slot again and then push forward. All right. Now I need to do a bit of maintenance. And then getting more dexterity in my hand, which is good. All right, I'm just gonna print my sticky note because this is a training op, so I have to note if anyone dies twice before the first hour and then who dies completely after the second hour for point values. <sighs> All right. I didn't think. Mac, I put Alpha as the medics, Bravo as the Maxon crew, and then Charlie as the T28. Flash for one. All right. Uh, just grab your slots again because it pushed everything back. All right, most of you are on. So here's the deal. When you spawn in, there's going to be four different spawn points. Just select the one that says spawn here first. That's going to take you to the farthest south staging point. Uh, there are three additional spawn points. One is a debug just tied to some outside stuff where I keep everything managed because since we have such a choice of specialized kits, that's just all there for debug. Uh, and then the other two are respawn vehicles. I have given you guys, since this is now a two life op, um, there is one respawn vehicle, it's the A20. It's a little APC with two benches on top. I mean for that to be a command vehicle uh, because the entire command team can fit on it. And then there's two additional seats for respawn, but otherwise just keep that stashed. Uh, there is a spare one, but it's all the way up at the final point, which is all the way up there. Um, regardless, explaining the map, uh, currently, the main Soviet advance is in the center of the map. Uh, however, that's been stalled out based off of the raid that occurred in the previous mission. Uh, our goal today is to keep the southern group pinned as long as we can. Uh, explaining the map, uh, point front line means once you go that point, uh, past that point towards Soviet territory, uh, you'll start running into patrols. Uh, Alon, I want to say this area uh, could be a bit further north as well. Uh, but that is basically where I recommend you set up your defense line first. Point Divide is going to show, if you follow the map, there is a road that goes all the way up to the main Op 4 group. 
Uh, if we are what I consider successful in this operation, uh, recon forces marked with the blue four marker will start seeing Soviet forces start pushing down this route to try to reinforce the southern push. If they do that, that prevents the Op 4 group from doing any sort of pushing today, which Ooh. means when we get to the next main mission, that central group will stay. If we are unsuccessful in pulling units from the central group, uh, next to operation we do, we'll see advancement of the central group as, as well as the southern Op 4 group. Uh, up to wherever the line is, uh, maybe a bit more, depending on how much time is left in the operation as well. There are three turn-in points. If you capture any vehicles, bring them to the turn-in points. If Op 4, let's say, gets up to the staging point, any vehicles there are lost and thus need to be pulled back to other turn-in points to prevent Op 4 from recapturing them. It is up to you whether or not you want to take the vehicles and... Uh, use them in the current operation, or you can bank them for later. Uh, as explained in the mission, um, we were able to steal a T-28 and a BA-10 in the raid in the previous mission. T-28 is going to be fielded. However, we don't have any resupply or rearm or refuel. Um, that's the same thing. Repair or refuel. Um, scratch the repair. Let me collect myself. Uh, T-28, once you run out of ammo, you can pull it back. If we are able to find an ammo truck in one of the raids we do, that will resupply the vehicle for another operation. But that's going to be up to the raid, uh, which we're going to do on Wednesday. And I'll announce that after this operation, after a few hours. Um, because we're going to start getting on the schedule of doing the raids on the weekdays and then these ops on the weekends uh, where I can afford it. Because this is all meant to be the training op stuff. Training op rules... Uh, Ties to the training program, already got all your names down. Um, if you survive past the first hour um, without losing both your lives, you're down for two points. If you survive the entire operation without losing both your lives, you get three points. Uh, the point of passing is going to be the staging point. So if Op4 are able to break past the staging point area uh, over this entire operation... Uh, we will not be eligible for more than a single point. Um, if we're able to hold them there and then you keep your two lives, you'll get three points. If we're able to hold them but you lose both your lives, you'll get two points. That's, I think, a rundown of what I set up in that spot. Regardless, uh, Op 4 will begin their advancing uh, within 15 to 20 minutes of the start of the operation, which is kicked off by you guys actually leaving the staging point. Uh, a few other debug notes, which I don't think I mentioned in the write-up. Um, if the mine guys are picked in future missions, I've decided to give an additional mine box to give them more AT and AP mines to put down. Uh, and then the marksman kits were broken. I fixed them. They were they are supposed to be Mosins with scopes. So I don't think that affects anything because it wasn't tied to last week. Otherwise, that should be it. We do have a Maxon crew, so there will be a cargo box at the staging point as well as the other flagged points that have Maxim ammo. Uh, and also, in the event we have a vehicle get captured, let's say you bring a vehicle to the staging point, I'll spawn a motorcycle so you can quickly drive back into the AO and then you can use that however you want. Um, does anyone... Uh, actually, no. Leadership, you have the Fortify tool. You can have 25 sandbags down at a time. Just remember to refund the sandbags when you leave. Otherwise, they'll stay spawned and you can't use them again. Uh, in the event anyone armas themselves off the sandbags, let me know. Pain me. Type something in side chat and I'll give you a heal. I think I fixed it, though, because I spent 30 minutes trying to armor myself on them and wasn't able to compared to the previous system we used where you carried them around. And I think the fact that you could carry them around was causing the issue. Uh, also... Um, Going forward, I have fixed all cargo crates that I want you guys to carry around. For example, the mine layer boxes had that issue uh, where they couldn't be carried. I scripted them to be carried now, but that's not going to be an issue. Uh, Wednesday, it will bring up again because you'll be able to steal shit, but I digress. Uh, is there any questions from any squad leads, specialists, or command elements of the operation? No shovel. Okay. Again, if you need to respawn, I highly recommend you use the respawn vehicle. If that gets lost, I'd recommend the next person spawns to the final point, grabs that respawn vehicle, and starts driving it, because otherwise it's going to be a very big walk between the staging point and the front line. But I'm not going to refund anything unless that vehicle gets armored, in which case we'll use the final staging point one. But if that also gets armored, then you're SOL at that point. So keep that thing safe. 
I am going to push us through now. Good luck, have fun. I'll be on 50 if you need me. All right, spawn here at start. All right. And Ryan picked the wrong spawn. Hey, so where's the uh, Maxon specialist team? All right. Um, your spare ammo is in the cargo box. I recommend you potentially load some of your spare ammo in the other VIX. I think only your ammo bearer will be able to move spare ammo because they'll have that noise, uh, that room. But yeah. Uh, what are the uh, leads supposed to have entrenching all the? Uh... There we go. Uh, okay. Fortify yeah, tools. Uh, I don't fortify. have. Tools. Yes, you do. Okay. I just haven't executed the script yet. Oh. One second. Okay. I draw. Because I so forgot how to write want me to still control an init file even though for that thing. Squad. What squad are you? One? Uh, squad two. Well, then we'll switch it around. Second all right, one second. The, the screaming was because we're all spawning in, and because I don't have spawn on body, it doesn't allow for... There's in order to get them to spawn in a position. Back down there, so just so let's see, max execute... Round, for your squad, bring all of the ammo. All right, cool. Can, sorry. And, uh, I don't have top. a backpack or right. for actual max ammo. Yeah, I'm too. Yep, yeah, 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 works. Yeah, How do you want the medic? Oh my god, you have a fucking bomb. Uh, anybody? A medic per squad and one per command. Okay. Pass me, I can arm tank. Let's go, you got a Pass me, hijack tank. I'm trying to think here. I need to also put Zeus Cash on that thing. I'm over here. Hello. Hi. Oh, wow. Amazing. That was an amazing view. The reason was funny. There was actually a uh, assemble call. So you did you did good. Ah, yeah. Sorry. Good on you. There we go. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> Load your shit up for Tapari. Commander, Commander, this is uh, Grand Commander. Do you read? Uh, the thing about building so many different kits is sometimes something just doesn't want to set properly, so I gotta fix that. You need to just pull. send message. Well, well, have Requesting T28. It's uh, Ace, up uh, self -interact. I hate to break it to you, Keller, but we've now been, yeah, we've been split off. We've been, yeah, you're in with Bravo. You're in with Bravo, whatever they are. Someone needs something from the command? Dwarves. That man is naked. Bravo! Okay, I can't put it in there. Here. I don't know why your kit doesn't have that, but whatever. That's something I gotta look into. Because I had to oh. fix some of the kits. I just don't know. What I imagine happened was I did some editing work on the kits, and then I didn't save the file like an idiot. Uh, that happens once in a blue moon, because I just alt F4 for the night. All right, I put the T28 down. Uh, Bravo had an issue where their ammo bearer didn't have the backpack for some weird reason. And for whatever reason, they're still having a weird issue with it, but I'll have to look into that and see why it broke. But regardless, yeah. Uh, timer has begun since people are moving out. Good luck, have fun. So anyway, there aren't any radios in this scenario. It is just up to the units to coordinate with... Um, I'm sorry, let me correct that. There are no short-range radios, so they have to uh, basically work with what they got at that point. I'm going to start putting some Soviet units down for patrolling purposes, and then Wednesday we'll continue this mission. I'm going to basically copy and paste this as a patrol, and let's see how well they do today. I want to keep them out of the actual spawn area here, because this I want to kind of treat as debug, but 
this map also follows, for whatever reason, Tanoan weather effects with the sound, which annoys me greatly, but, you know, we gotta work with what we got. But anyway, how are you all doing? How do I... You don't even know what I look like, Mr. Red. I've been very careful to hide my damn face. <laughs> anyway, they're leaving a truck behind, and then we have the uh, AAA Vic back here, which is gonna potentially be an issue. Yeah, so I don't know why this is back here if he picked it up, but I assume something bugged out. Maybe it doesn't have NF properly loaded. Who the hell knows? It's impossible to say when you've got weird things bugging out like that, but it does it's count into ammo, so. Mm. So anyway, this is uh, Rate Road. I don't know if it's supposed to be Rat Road or Rate Road because there's two A's in it. Uh, this is a play off of an engagement of the Winter War, where the Soviets were slowly starting to push into... Was it Finland or Sweden? I think it was Finland. I'm uh, blank. Yeah, no, it had to have been Finland, because they share a border with Russia. Uh, but, yeah, Rat Road. So, um, what this campaign is basically going to feature is three different Soviet advances. One from the north, one from the center, one from the south. The center one is the most powerful one. Uh, however, the player base is basically just delaying the Soviets as long as they can. And from there, it's just a matter of can the player base hold them off. Because here's the thing. They won't be able to constantly hold them from the first position. They're eventually going to have to do a pullout. And then usually when they do the pullout, they have the most casualties. So we'll just have to see how everything plays out. But in the morning of the second day... And we just have to see how the player base is going to go. As did I outsource that job to you? I think I did for the mission dev of it. Because we pretty much built all the camps custom. And now I build them all custom. But I always find it interesting how much I've improved. Because stuff that used to take us hours to do. Especially for like camp development and whatnot. I have such a good system now that I can do everything that would, took us a while back three years ago. I can get it done in an only in an hour or two and increase it in size. So Arma, I'd say Arma is fairly similar to Squad. It's just there's more that you can do. However, with the Squad's modding community, Arma's starting to lose out on features that were exclusive to it, especially since I think Squad has a Zeusing mod for it now. I'd say Squad is definitely more focused on just going right into the action, whereas with, uh, excuse me, Squad is more focused on the action, whereas Arma, there's definitely a lot of logistics and setup still applied to it. Now, granted, if you have certain scenarios, I mean, it's very easy for me to make something that, you know, action will start within the first five to ten minutes, even instantaneously after the players spawn. It's just all of that setup time is done during the game time, whereas with Squad, I've pretty sure you could just set it up, get organized, and go in, and there's less waiting around, but it, it just depends on your community. I know communities that, you know, you wait around for quite a bit before you get in the action, and then others where, you know, like mine, it's just, we get everyone on the server, we try to get started as quick as we can, and we go right to the action. But, yeah, Arma can be a walking simulator if you're playing a mission done by someone that is a little less experienced, I would say. So again, it, it depends. But Arma, compared to Squad, Arma is definitely more sandbox-esque. It's just, you know, you're relying on people that have that ability to make something out of that sandbox. But you hear them using their bugles here to kind of keep everyone going. Because again, there's no short-range radios. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Uh, they have long-range radios, so they can still communicate with each other from the leadership aspects. But short-range-wise, no, they got to use uh, whistles and bugles to... Uh, I, I'm calling them beagles like an idiot. Uh, bugles to uh, basically lead them forward. So Wes, I would say if you wanna, if you like squad, Arma can definitely give you a squad-like experience, and you can get a lot more players on compared to squad. But you definitely have to do a bit more searching to find the right community for you. But if you just like having action-packed adventures and you've got a good network for squad. It's going to be up to you if you want to have the free time to kind of search for that, if that makes any sense. Tarkov, I wouldn't really compare to Arma 3. Tarkov is 
you literally load in and you're instantly playing the game and everything's set for you in that sense. Yeah, there's a big hacker problem with it. And yes, there's a lot of people that use the ESP to basically see where you are at all times. But it's an instantaneous experience. But the stuff that goes behind Arma 3, I'm going to be honest, this campaign, for example, probably one of the most dynamic things I've made in a while by giving the player base so many choice. Uh, it's definitely... <laughs> It, it, the dev side, at least, this one took me a good 10, 15 hours to make on its own. And then every raid mission where they're going to be hitting the Soviet camps, I mean, that takes me another few hours to get all the camps set and devved. And it's not even the camps that take a lot of time. It's a lot of, um... I probably should have mentioned that because I did forget about that one bug with the Molotovs where you don't want to ace throw it, otherwise it might dent in your hand and kill you, but... There's also a lot of resource management in this campaign. It's just the player base haven't really been able to do any of it because I forgot that I needed to set their crates to be carryable because the default game doesn't do that, but yeah. How do I price my ops? Um, for commissions, it's literally my availability i'll be honest when i started doing commission jobs i want to say three or four years ago that's when i only charged like 25 to 50 and up but nowadays it's a combination of experience as well as me being able to get done pretty much anything that someone wants within reason but yeah you can hear them doing the beagles so they can announce where they are with each other and I assume this team's also doing it. So they're probably using those to kind of show each other where they are, which is smart. I'll give them that. Uh, but it's basically supply and demand. I'm going to be honest with you. At this current time, I am working for at least nine different communities. My own, 506th, uh, 5th OML, TOC, those previous two are 40K communities, uh, POG, uh, some outsourcing work for the 228th, which we're going to see this weekend. It's going to be a joint top that uses Spearhead. Uh, the official SOG Prairie Fire community, I'm doing some back work for them. Uh, Hellfire. And that's eight right there. And um, Saturday Nights is a new one. That's uh, SSS, still Water Security Solutions. So that one, thankfully, I'm only playing on the ground, but that one is an interactive PMC where I still have to decide what I'm doing with my payouts and what guns I'm selecting. So that does give me a bit of time. Uh, it is a bit of a time investment. And then... Trying to think if there's any more. I feel like there's one more. But that, that does total to nine. So I'm going to be honest, those rates might go up even further because, I mean, if you look at, if you type exclamation point schedule, you'll see that I am jam freaking packed. And again, I kind of just base that off of supply and demand, but you know, I'm working my ass off here. <laughs> Zeusing is definitely a dying art, especially for people that also know how to mission dev. Uh, and that's just because people are starting to go to other games. People are starting to wait and see for Armor Reforger, which is getting there. It still needs another year or two in the oven. But eventually you'll start seeing Reforger overtaking Arma 3 in, I want to say, three or four years' time. And then by then we're going to start getting into uh, Arma 4. Let me go ahead and set the skill AI coefficients here for the uh, op 4 element. We're going to do a 90 for general. Spotting, I'm going to put down, let's start it at 10 for now and then rage it up. I did also slightly buff the health of the players. I took it from 12 to 15. Uh, to give a quick explanation of that, that basically means just how tanky the player base is. And that's hard to do because that usually is factored in body armor that the player base has. Um... But there is no body armor because it's, you know, pre-World War II. It, technically World War II era. So you have to set that number really high so they can tank at least two or three shots before they actually go down so it's, you know, more favorable to the player base. Um, so, you know, I think setting it from 12 to 15 means that if they might be able to tank a headshot. Um, but again, the calibers are bigger in World War II. We're dealing with 7.62 by 54, which, I mean, that's a big freaking round. Not as big as 50 cal or 12.7, mind you, but it's, it's a medium, <laughs> medium caliber there. So that still might insta-headshot them. Uh, but the torso, they should be able to take, you know, a few. I also do appreciate that they're setting up here with everything, so... 
We'll see. I also, uh, because Ace has been putting out new stuff for their medical, so one of the newer things that they released from a few months ago was bandage rollover, so now your bandages can be more effective. I generally don't like turning that on. However, I did notice in the previous two ops that some of the weapons that would hit you would deal like six wounds. So I put the bandage rollover to uh, from the default vo uh, variable from 1 to 2.5. Uh, so that now, you know, every elastic bandage, instead of healing one avulsion, will heal two avulsions and then make a third one a partial wound. So that should speed up the healing process. And then I might tweak it if I still see that we're having a weird ratio of, uh, people down. But that's going to be a bit tough to judge because Alpha has been assigned an additional three medics, which is going to really speed up the healing process, uh, for that one squad, so... We'll see. But that's another thing for commissions. Panzer, Panzer, this is command. Do you read? I think they're, he's trying to call the T-28. Mac, this is high. They might not understand you're calling for the T-28, so you might want to be a bit more blunt. <laughs> Tank. <laughs> this is Go for a tank. But that's another thing I would say when I get commissioned that I do tell people for about my race is that I also know every single feature of this game. Um, and then when new features come out for things like Ace, I do research it and spend a minute trying to figure out what it does and whether or not a community would appreciate it. Though I will admit, Ace is now starting to pull features from Cat Medical. I just appreciate that you can turn them off. And I, I'm going to be honest, I dislike Cat Medical. I know people love it especially if they want more medical roleplay with it. But that also increases the time that the standard rifleman is just staring at a black screen, not doing anything. And I always try to balance my ops for the average rifleman, unless we're doing a specific armor only or air only op, then obviously that frame of reference changes. But I try to keep it fun for the general infantryman because one of the biggest mistakes I saw people make as I was learning everything back in, you know, 2016, 17, and 18 was people were taking, like, a really fun asset, like an AC-130 from USAF, uh, and then going, yeah, let's build it around this. And then they build the op around the uh, AC-130 instead of the, you know, two or three infantry squads below that should be the focus of the op because if you want to just do an AC-130, then just have the AC-130, but then they're working for a community with, you know, 30 or 40 players, and they can't put 20 AC-130s in the air. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, though. Bloodway and I, were going to be... Uh, n it's tomorrow, actually. Yeah, this Tuesday. We have the Fallout cookbook, and we're going to be cooking a bunch of... Um, I was adamant on making sure we chose most of the Fallout recipes that actually were Fallout foods. Um instead of the Vim stuff from the cookbook, which I think was just tied to the cookbook author itself. But uh, we're going to be cooking Yum Yum Deviled Eggs, Blammo Mac and Cheese, Nuka Cola, and oh, there's another one, Fancy Lad Cakes, Snack Cakes. And um, then she wanted to do the Brahmin Burgers in there, which are just regular burgers, but why not? She's a burger girl. I got disappointed with the cookbook when I started. Oh, there's no freaking way. Yeah, so there's not going to be... God damn it. I'll explain that in a second. But um, I wish, and I think they weren't able to do it because of copyright reasons, but I wish that cookbook had more re recipes from New Vegas. But I think because it was an obsidian item, uh, then they weren't able to uh, do it because of Obsidian Entertainment technically owned those and Survival, which is a skill that develops, uh, is designed by cooking. Um, they just didn't have the rights to make those recipes because I would have loved all of the New Vegas recipes, but yeah. So they got hurt using this sandbag. The original Fortify ability I gave them was to basically take sandbags and uh, load them into trucks and then pull them out, carry them around, and then put them where they wanted. However, people kept arming themselves on it, which is the term where you hurt yourself, and you can see all this blood here, which shows that they hurt themselves on it. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is adding the foxhole mod and allowing them to dig their own foxholes in the dirt because there's no way they'd be able to armor themselves on it, especially since I can control how deep they make those foxholes. So I don't, I'll make sure, because the vanilla 
uh, ratio of the foxhole puts it like three meters below, and if someone sprints into the foxhole, they will hurt themselves, which is realistic in my opinion, but Arma 3 is all about idiot-proofing things because it's still a video game, and people are just here to have some fun, but I digress. I'm going to start putting scout teams out to uh, start moving in because we're starting to approach that 20-minute mark. So, you know, you want to you wanna keep things simple, essentially. Uh, so that'll be my next solution in trying to idiot-proof this game for these silly people. Because for whatever reason on this map, you can't dig entrenchments with the E-Tool. I don't know why you can't. You should be able to, in my humble opinion. But it, it's whatever. Uh, I typed in scenario, but that's what we do to index. I want side relations just in case these things aren't set properly. So op four hostile green four, no radio message to play for everyone. Um, by default, usually blue four and green four are set to friendly and usually op four and green four are always set to hostile. Uh, but I just, when I'm feeling paranoid, I just put that setting down to make sure people will actually shoot each other. Oh, and yeah, I will also state that I have done my due diligence in so many operations to make sure things are idiot proofed but when you have so many players in an op over 20 I w even with 20 if you take more than five people on a server someone will find a way to break something and i'm gonna be honest usually it's me because i'm a metagaming bastard and i love to put every advantage that i can because that makes me feel better about myself <laughs> Uh, but anyway, how are you all doing this fine Monday? After this, I think Bloodwain and I, we're going to be making some dinner. And my arm, for those of you that asked, is feeling much better. Still a bit wonky, but I've got a lot more control of it. Uh, I haven't had to put it in a sling, but I did hurt myself this morning over stretching it. But yeah, TLDR fell on uh, the ice pretty hard, sprained my right arm. Silly things like that. All right, so we've got the scouting element shooting. I put my tracer script on so I can see where shots are going. That Maxon is starting to unload on these forces here. And we've got a good engagement range. T-28 is holding still. That's going to be very good at stalling. But we'll see how things go. I'm probably not going to stream tomorrow's cooking session just because I want to give Bloodwing more time for us. I've been... This might be a bit of a TMI, but I've been trying to be better at my work-life balance. So, you know, some things, yes, I would like to stream with her. Like, if she decides to play Fallout New Vegas, I definitely want her to stream that on my platform because I think that'd be really, really cool. But, you know, we shouldn't stream every single thing that we do because, you know, some of it's us time. So I've been trying to be a better uh, fiancé and, you know, soon-to-be husband so we can do stuff like that. <laughs> Well, you know, life is all about work-life balance, you know. All right, I'm going to put a scouting tank up there. Honestly, I should have started with a BT-10 instead, or was it a BA-10? Yeah, uh, but we're going to we're gonna go with the tank. Shoot from there, you're going to kill the entire Maxim team with the other pressure. I'm going to start throwing my other forces in. And then we're going to start putting entire squads in for scouting. So just infantry... And again, this is meant to be the first part of the wave here, so we'll start bringing in stuff to set up mortar positions and other stuff to get everything set. Turtle just joined. He's a bit of a late... Uh, never mind. He has a keen issue with his World War II mod. Hold on. Turtle, uh, repair your IFA mod. I don't know what's wrong with it, but you just got kicked for a key in issue in there, okay? Yep, I sh I'm trying to figure that out. I'm sorry, you're having such bad luck today, buddy. Yeah, definitely. Never validate files again. I, um, I know you're actually streaming. Um, yep. you're probably not able to help real quick. Just, I'm trying to figure just out repair the IFA mod. Okay. Right. Because that's what you got kicked for. All right. All right. I try to help out where I can, especially when it's a new player. Because I don't know, he... He verified everything instead of just right-click and repairing his mods that were broken. So I have a feeling that kind of scuffed everything. He could also have a virus on his computer. Uh, fun facts, I've run into people that had issues on their computer that made absolutely no sense, and they ran a virus check, and it, fa it turned out they had a worm on their computer going through all their ARMA files and fucking them up. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But yeah, I've also added the roster here so we can see what we've got there. 
Yeah, so the tank just fired, and I think overpressured everyone here. So Jay-Z, I think, is running over to yell at them. Because when the tanks fire their main gun, everything in front is going to take damage. So they're having it move. I mean, this is a good spot for the tank. It can go a little more to the right here or use that rock as cover, but we'll have to see how things go. T-28, move up the road and engage the tank. So I think they're trying to wrap the T-28 to uh, hit that scouting tank. I was about to check if her gun was disabled, but she looks fine. Animations cancel animation, yeah. We have an Ace Extended Animations mod that fixes that issue, so. They're trying to walk the tank onto this target here. She's taken no damage yet. But the tank is still moving up. I am going to start bringing in some more stuff here, such as a scouting vehicle. And then we'll start bringing in more heavily infantry on that spot. But again, we're just relying on the scouting forces here. Let's see if he gets kicked for anything. He still got kicked for the same thing. I... Uh... Yeah, it's I-44, though. He got kicked for the same thing, so at, at this yeah, point, I, I would recommend running a virus scan, see if there's anything there, and then... Yeah, because I just repaired it, I might yeah. just... I'd also reinstall and put the mod back on, uh, gotcha. but otherwise, that's all I can think of, bro. Yeah, all good, all good. All right, good luck. I'm really surprised that the T-28 is struggling with this tank so much. Well, there we go. It got a perfect engine shot, but... <laughs> it's kind of funny. What are these guys doing? They're on defend only, probably because of that armor piece. I'm going to keep bringing infantry to flank on the side. I got the scouting vehicle coming down. I'm going to go ahead and delete the groups back there, but I'm going to start trying to put pressure on the left side, and then we're going to have armor pretty much come up that corridor. There is another vehicle I want to bring. At this point, I'm going to start putting trucks here to facilitate that we've got stuff coming in. And I'm going to start putting up defensive tanks as well. As we start to get the initial main force to come in. Cavalry riflemen are going to be accommodating those forces there. So again, you want to make sure you put stuff in positions that won't be spotted by the player base. And there's a mod within, uh, there's a feature within Zeus and Hands that'll help you with that. But you see that these guys are taking hits uh, as they're repelling these forces coming in. But I will, in another five or ten minutes, start trying to set up a mortar to assist. But we've got those groups now moving in. I'll start bringing up that vehicle as well. Oh, 40k is a massive learning curve. The only reason I got into it was because I got commissioned to come into a 40k community. <laughs> and then from there, I just started learning. What worries me a bit is eventually I will call for air support, and these guys didn't bring their AAA Vic out. Um, yeah, no, it is AAA. So I have no idea how they're going to deal with it. But that tank is probably going to get blast out because they don't have that air cover.
Yeah, if it armored you, you should probably move it, right? They haven't moved it. Shuckleheads. Then get your squad leader, too. Takes you five seconds. Yeah, so it's going to have to be foxholes then, because otherwise this is too costly for me to be spending time doing all this. Because i got to focus on the AO itself. Vehicles are kind of stuck here. So I'm going to have to call up for assistance. We're going to have to send in some BT-7s. But yeah, they're they're just as bad as the other sandbags, so I can't really do anything. That's a shame. We'll have to see if the foxhole mod will work. Will work, because if it can't, then I'll just have to put a disclaimer to say, "Hey, it might hurt you." And at that point, there's not much I can do about it, because the point of having cover is to prevent bullets. But if it doesn't work, then say la vie. Setting up the mortar position, I'll get it used in a few minutes. But not yet. Alright, so far so good here. Timing-wise, we're good on everything here. Tank just fired again because we've got more armor pushing up. And these guys are opting to run. I mean, yeah, there's a T-28. There's not really much they can do about that, so that makes complete sense. In another 10 or 15 minutes, I'll start pushing units around over here. Because the turret rotation speed is so slow, when these vehicles want to be maneuverable like this, it really screws with their ability to uh, deal with the uh, armor pieces. But again, this will eventually run out of primary ammo, though, and you see that they have gotten hit a bit. So eventually that tank is going to run dry. And I wish I could really push that by putting these fodder units up, but they get freaked out over the tank and then immediately fall back. Tank crew copy. I didn't even hear his call out though. Yeah, I I would be willing to bet he has a virus. Yeah, the desync, I think, is just because Havoc's giving me a pretty... I don't know why, but I work with multiple different servers, some tied to certain communities, and then my own. And I've noticed that my hosting provider... It's only this one, but I've run the exact same things on other people. Yeah, it could also be Turtles trying to connect and then getting things plinked, but... It's something with the server itself. But I just gotta figure that out later. Alright. We're gonna start hitting that position with artillery. They've backed off. Looks like they grabbed all their sandbags, which is good. And we've got the armor pushing. I 
Trying to decide what to push up. I'll push up this vehicle for funsies, but again, we're just trying to drain that hostile tank in terms of its ammo. For whatever reason, I've got forces all the way out here. So they've retreated. If anything, I'm just going to delete them, actually, because they're out of the field of play at this point. You see that some units are getting picked off. Uh, I haven't seen that. Okay, so the shell landed over there. I'm going to tighten its spread. And put another shell out there. Let's do 25 meters. continue to bring vehicles out there. It's okay to give the uh, AI a bit of room to breathe. We'll see where that shell lands. Because we are essentially just trying to get a foothold here. And you know what? I'm going to bring that attack on the side a little early instead. But they've already killed about two platoons worth of infantry, which is good. Yeah, now you got that triple A firing. C20, the Hermit Light back about. I didn't catch it. There was there was a bit of desync there, yeah. So for whatever reason, it's just Turtle's connection. Dragging the server there, not much I can do. Gonna fire a few rounds out. Continuing on with Cavalry Riflemen. We just hit that position with artillery, so we should theoretically be able to push on it. I'm not sure they're thinking about rationing the ammo of the T-28, so this could be an interesting call. But no, these guys are definitely taking overpressure damage from the T-28. But I'll clean up the mod set a little bit and remove everything that's... Because uh, this was also meant to be a World War II mod set that covered a lot more. There is a little bit of desync carrying over, and I'm trying to figure out why. Like that. Once again, I've got vehicles that are refusing to push up because I think, again, that T-20H just making them freak out over everything. I'm trying to see. I thought I had, like, tank hats other than the T-20. Yeah. We're going to be sending light, uh, late AT into the fray. These guys are pulling back. Even further, I want to see if these guys pull away from that one position. But again, the Soviets have numbers. We're at 100 forces down. And again, that t number technically also includes armor, which is worth more points than standard infantry. You guys are refusing orders again, and I assume you went to defend only. Yep. I'm trying to be fair about the tanks. It's just we're going to be pinned in here for a while. So we're going to start trying to push them back with artillery. Yeah, right. Start executing them instead. Target position's out of range. Okay, so we're going to slowly move this position up. It's going to take us a few minutes, but... 
we don't have to technically show it. We can just move it up on its own. I'm going to respawn this because it will get a fresh thing of ammo. But we'll say another three or four minutes and then should be able to get into range of that. But we do see how these guys are holding. I am going to bump skill up for accuracy to 20. And we're going to increase engagement to 70 on range. T28, this is command. There seems to be a light APC going down the street to the east. I think he's talking about that. Yeah, if I attach them to vehicles, that should get them going, at least in theory, right? All right, I'm gonna send a T26 platoon. Tank up, APC. I'll send three instead of four. And again, that's because we're right on the map border, so I can simulate units coming in immediately. Because it's meant to be like just a massive column of Soviet infantry and armor coming up. And these guys are essentially becoming a blocking position for it. Pull those guys out because they're desyncing into the building. Yeah, we'll just remove them. It's impossible for me to simulate shooting every single enemy force in the head, unfortunately. But it is fun. All right, we're going to start sending elite forces in. Our first platoon of the uh, NKVD here. And they've got slightly better weaponry and choice of weapons, so... We'll see how they do. I don't think it'll do much compared to fighting the players, but we can always hope. Another minute and I'm gonna start putting already on this position. I mean, it's still pretty low, it's the Soviets. And then yes, it's technically a lane turret, so they'll set something like that up, but not much I can do there. I'm going to put this back a bit more because I want to kind of decrease the likelihood that the first round's going to hit them. A lot of time the server didn't desync when Turtle connected, so that's a good sign. All right, let's get the shot out. I'm gonna start forcing that group back. And why isn't my armor opting to go? That's fine, I'll just attach them all to that position. I'm going to try shooting another shell and seeing if that's causing it. Because there was a bug in an OFCRA mission where every time Artie landed, it did cause a decent spike. So let me try that again. seem to affect it that much there, so I don't know. Alright, let's get Turtles teleported up to where he needs to be. And we're going to start walking that artillery onto them.
You got everything engaging from farther back, which is interesting. Might be something tied to the ballistics of the rounds firing, too. It's hard to say. It's always interesting to try to figure out what's causing desync. I have a feeling one of these RD rounds is going to strike him right in the damn face. Uh, Shepard, you can jump on the server and check, but if we're full, we're full. Just remember the placeholder units are going to be elsewhere. Oh, I hear it coming in. Yeah, so I guess assigning armor on the side is going to be what helps us with that. Start putting forces on the flank. Righto, feel free to watch. I think it's just specialized stuff in the mod set. That's the only thing I can really think of. Those forces are falling back. Bring up another wave. And some more meat for the grinder. So it looks like they're pulling back because of the RD. Ooh, that blew up. At this point, we're going to have a second mortar on this position as well. And then they just need to get the same stuff as the other mortar. Oh, it's still... Alright, we'll do that then. There we go. They left the sandbag, though. We're at 177, so they've been quick to raise the kill feed there though and you still see them picking people off as they're coming in i am going to bring the skill up to the highest i can for spotting we're going to put that at 90 i try not to raise anything beyond 90 because at that point it's it's very close anyway but i'm going to keep accuracy low I think at this point we'll also have uh, some medium batteries online, so that's going to probably be have to put all the way over here. What do I got? Probably some 27s. Nah, let's get... Let's get these. Hey, hi, this is come on. This is hi, send message. Apparently the Maxim crew lost all of their ammo because the gun ate it. T-28, I need you to pull back to command. There's an enemy T-28 to the east, south, east, east. T-28 copies. Did the Maxim crew load additional ammo like I told them to in the beginning of the op so I can just go to the Vic and bring it? They did, but apparently the gun disappeared about 600 rounds. Well, there's not really much I can do about that, unfortunately. They're going to have to go get more ammo then.
That's why you test it. You load a box in there, and if it's bugging out, then you question it first instead of feeding all your ammo into the damn thing. Because there's not much I can do if you feed all of its ammo and it breaks everything, unfortunately. Alright, so it's going to take a second for the field guns to adjust here. I've got these two rifle squads starting to come around. We're almost at 200 KIA, so they're doing a really great job with this first stall. And we're 50 minutes in. So nothing catastrophic's happened yet. We also see them starting to use HE rounds. I'm thinking of being mean and rushing some vehicles to the other side here. Because by now we're going to start or attempting to encircle this position. More meat for the grinder. So I want to keep the vehicles attached to a, a front element here. That way things will continue to advance, because that's the only way I see to actually get them going. 211. T28, command. Enemy uh, light tank is flanking us from the north. I need you to head north and intercept that. Oh, T28 copies. So yeah, they might want to start prepping their escape after this because I got these light tanks coming around. Oh, and she gets sniped. Okay. Oh. It's a bad idea to spin around, placing your sights to the enemy. So yeah, they well, I think exposed not. their engine and the did that. So. Done. They need to consider now going south with their vehicles, then coming around, popping some smoke. But damn. They made that last, yeah, though. Those next to the car. That's cool. I did not. They've been maneuvering from the east for the past 20 minutes. He was talking about the infantry squads, but again... People always question me if I actually put units around, but nah, I, I try to showcase me putting things. And then maneuvering them, because I do have an intention to cut the players off. I'd say their next defensive line probably wants to be up here, but... We'll see what they do. Now we got vehicles with their turrets suppressing. And again, they're leaving the sandbags, which is not good. So I think now they're trying to pull back. We might see infantry. We got one more truck here. I don't know where that truck's going. Possibly to get more ammo, maybe, but I I don't know. Eventually, attrition is going to overtake them. But I don't have to use my major guns just yet. I'm waiting for these guys to start using their bigger rounds to start hitting the buildings. 
Looks like Mac is ordering a pullback on foot. They're reaching through the window and picking ammo up, which is smart. But yeah, no, we're starting to see a massive infantry pull around. I have no idea what these guys are pulling back for. They might be lost. I think they meant to come back and grab that, but... Yeah, I think they realize that that's going to be the wrong turn, but we'll see what they want when they come back. But we got this massive infantry pull out here. We're going to focus on trying to pull everything in. But yeah, that desync spiking, I gotta figure out what that is. That could be the NF mod itself. There's, there's so many possibilities. But a very good original pullout. Let's see what they grab. RJ's bandaging, but all right, overall, not bad. I have no idea what's causing that desync, unfortunately. But again, I'll clean up the mod set for what we absolutely need. It'll give me a nice little project to work on tonight. Yeah, they still again. Again, I'm surprised they're not fielding the AA Vic. But again, his backpack's still glitching out because it's technically that one on the floor. So it's just a weird call overall. Yeah, the question is, without their AT, how are they going to be able to deal with that vehicle? They're going to have to essentially, like, try to rush up to it and take it out, but there's a second one over here. But it is staying low. They're being very smart about where its positioning is. Ham just made a fatal mistake, and he's getting machine gunned to hell for it. Oh, and he goes down. The rest of these guys are trying to crawl away. I've got the infantry slowly coming up. All right. <laughs> that Vic flipped. So nothing able to be stolen yet. We got plenty of stuff still coming up. I don't think they're going to be able to grab Ham. But you see them returning fire out here because they've got some riflemen starting to move up. All right, awesome. They were able to grab Ham. They just need to patch him up and then carry him. They're going to have to try to pick him up and run with him. It's going to be such a tough carry. Jay just got hit on his legs. They're taking fire from vehicles now. And they're trying to reestablish their defensive lines here. All right, so that vehicle is going back to grab more Maxim ammo. But again, they now lack heavy AT or any AT, other than I would assume their Grenadiers and their ability to throw Molotovs. So this is going to be a very tough fight. There's Ham's first life. Yeah, he, he got shot to shit. So unless they bandaged him and then carried him off, he wasn't going to make it. But again, staying there is tough because you run the risk of pretty much getting stuck at that point.
I'm gonna start trying to field my vehicles to the front. The specialist picked a medical crew, uh, which I gave to Alpha. Uh, Bravo was a Maxim crew. And then Charlie was the T-28. Unfortunately, the T-28 went tits up. So... Now they gotta figure out, because now they can still steal stuff because they're engineers, but it's getting to that position, which is gonna be the toughest part. So you got these three still running. But now they don't really have any dedicated AT because um, I think instead of the Maxim, they should have gone with an L-39. Ground, this is high message, over. I'll give you a deal. Uh, if you want, you can have the vehicle crew that had the T-28. They can go back to a staging point and respec into something else. Otherwise... I think the rest of this op is going to have a lot of running. Over. Can they get the other tank? Oh, I think I guess mine's in it. Uh, they can take the B, uh, BA-10. They'll just ping me. Uh, or I would recommend an L-39, but it's up to you. Over. Sure, I'll give them the L-29. Let's see, I'm going to go find them first. They have to uh, come back to the staging point in order to respec, but I know. yeah. So again, they, they turned and then something here hit their engine block and they cooked off, but I'm trying to nudge them there because if they don't, then they're, they're kind of SOL because they're going to be at the mercy of my armor pushing. And I got infantry really charging ahead here. But again, this desync is just getting worse and worse. And I'm trying to figure out why because I don't hear any armor firing or anything. But I'll clean up the mod set and see what we get. But again, this is all meant to be a stalling mission anyway, but we still have an hour remaining, and I think I just drag glitched that piece of armor. Whoops. But yeah, this represents the front of the Soviet force. I don't want to spawn more, because it'll just add to the uh, desync load, but... We have everything still firing at the uh, the units up here. Issues. We have a scouting vehicle right here and uh, an entire squad next to it. He missed. They. Okay. They could steal it now. They gotta let the fire effects cool down, so that'll take a hot second, but... As long as they hold this position, they could come back and uh, take it. But again, I don't know what the heck is causing that desync, man. And it's only with this mod set where it's so heavy. We didn't see any of it during MCO, so I was like, I don't freaking know, man. I'm willing to bet it's someone's internet connection. Uh... Because we've run World War II ops before, and we haven't seen stuff like this, so... Who the heck knows? So yeah, Vic's still heavily on fire. Gun might be disabled, but we can always bring that back or repair it. We have an engineer group by that, but if they could get the gun working, that would give them a chance with these heavier assets. I'm just trying to group units on top of other groups so we can keep the uh, forces going here. Good luck, Mr. Reed. Looks like they're looting for handguns. Now 
they're pulling back. So again, if anything goes to defend only, I'm just going to adjust it. So there's absolutely no reason units should be pulling away right now. Tank just fired again. Yeah, so this is just a massive kill zone and the infantry are getting stuck, but they're still pushing. I got some guys that might try flanking around, but again, this is creating a good buffer zone here. But this is also point divide here, so if we make it to the 25 minute mark, I'll start reporting. Or 25 more minutes to the 1 hour 30 mark, I'll start reporting. But they have to essentially hold up for here for another 25 minutes, and that's going to be very difficult without any armor capabilities, but it looks like they're pushing that with the respawn Vic back, so they might be able to get that team in. But again, they're going to be at the mercy of the armor advancing. And as we see, there's quite a good chunk of armor advances. They can also tow this back while it's on fire. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the artillery positions uh, until I need them again, but we'll probably start using short range artillery soon. But for now, they need to focus on killing off what's here. Looks like those guys are mounting up. We'll see if they take the BA 10 with them or not. starting to get over. Yep, they're setting it to tell. the truck closer, I think. Yep, they got it. So now they can tow that pick back, and the next mission they can use it. All right, hold on. I'm going to push those guys further north, because I think they're just stuck here on reserves. Now they're reforming. So I think we're going to at least prevent them from getting past the first staging point, so we're still going to have three points up for grabs for people that survive, but they're definitely doing better than the first mission. But again, we're going to keep the advance. They picked off some more, which is good. I might have to put in some fresh units, though, for them to follow.
Because there isn't really a point in seeing that stall. And I got some forces pulling away. So yeah, forces are organizing. We've got a few more dead along the road. I think those were people that were on their own and they're trying to now reform this perimeter. Which still puts them close enough, but I need to see those op four elements push a bit harder. I think the these things definitely combat related though. Uh, so it, it's something with rounds calculating and shooting off and whatnot, but it's hard to say. I'm hoping this crew rechanges to be the L-39 because they need to bring that back and then we'll still be able to stall them on that corner. But again, this though, baiting the vehicles into the forest will give them room to potentially run up and Molotov them, which is definitely needed. But I'm gonna start dividing forces here. Hey, leave him? Yeah. We were ordered to take the respawn vehicle back here so that the tank crew can switch out to the, the L something. The other yeah, the L-39. So um, just sub out and take the L-39 so you'll spawn with a gun. Then you can put some ammo and move in. Uh, I'll bring your motorcycles. Thank you. So we that didn't even need to bring the fucking respawn vehicle back here. We should have just fucking re-slotted. Uh, no. Uh, if you re-slotted immediately, I would have made you walk all the way back then. Because I told Command that you had to come back. Because that would make no sense. I just work here. Alright, all right, just it's soft log, go take the L-39s and come back. Yes, sir. What's up? Yeah, go for it. I've already used the lemons, so you can use them for whatever you need. Well, we're going to need it for tomorrow, right? We're, yeah, but we have two lemons, so use the one in the fridge. Oh, I was going to need zest for that. Oh, then use, yeah, then use the other lemon. It's fine. We can get more. Right. Just, yeah, we're good. <laughs> yes, honey, we're going to Wegmans. Goober. All right. Trying to coordinate the vehicles moving in. Let's see if we can put them in like a column or something. Now they're starting to stall these infantry elements, so I'm going to put these guys in the forest and then try to have them cut them off. I don't know how McMac spawned in debug, but... Alright. Fucking... He just respond, all right. In this box of ammo, start loading the vehicle up with the last deal at 39 ammo. Even have space for that. I just don't understand why the respawn vehicle's all the way back here. These guys getting flanked on the side, so they're having to reposition. Again, decent stall job, but will it be enough? They're being quick to pull back to buy time, though, so yeah, no, they're definitely holding out on that. Alright, 
Where's Mac? I think I know what happened. I think something either updated or something changed something in the backpacks I gave the assistants despawned. They might have had their variable name switched because I remember booting the mission. That's scary. It gave an error and I had to force load it. And I think that has something to do with the backpacks that I gave the assistants because I know for a fact because we had an L39 team last time. So I know. Donut, you're supposed to be the assistant. I think I'll explain this in debug, but our debrief, but there's the backpack you're supposed to have. Thank you. So that makes a lot more sense on why some of the kits I noticed it, when I was uh, setting up everything for this mission, uh, why we had some broken stuff. So Beautiful. it's weird. And yes, the BA-10 is still on fire. I don't know why it is staying on fire, but whatever. Vehicles are still stalling. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set them up on a file and then just have them reform. Need to keep warm in the snow, yeah, right? They're loading up wounded in the back as well. But yeah, they're being quick to retreat. They set up a really nice defensive line here, and they're trying to cover the main force with that. That's smart. Someone right. almost has Everyone's to drive the... Oh, oh yeah, respawn Vic. Respawn Vic, yes. Yep. Thanks, Lever. Yep, no problem. Let's remove more of the bodies here. And now I'm going to attach the vehicles to the lead element. We're going to try to maneuver on that force and hit him dead on. This is high send message. The Maxim's ammo bear disconnected, so they have no ammo anymore. <laughs> this puts me in a difficult spot. I, I don't know what I can do about that. Just give us a bag so someone else to carry it. I can put one of my messengers into the row. All right, I'll put a bag in the truck. Stand by. Because now I got to dig for the damn thing. This is why I hate working with static crews. Because if one of the people leave, then it completely screws up the gun. And I can't even find the backpack. There it is, I think. All right, backpack's been placed. Where was it? In the truck. The closer one to you. I, I'll try, but ammo, it's buggy in which I can't spawn it, but I'll see. Ah. It's finicky on... All right, I was well, able I to, so I put, I put three 200-round uh, boxes in there. Vehicles are slowly advancing. 
and we're starting to run into a stall, so that's going to hopefully give time for them to deploy that L-39, because they desperately need to. And this Vic is still on fire. And it broke. Amazing. So now we got the vehicles charging ahead on the right. Where's that L-39? Because the Vicks are just going to charge and hit their line unless they Molotov. trying to crawl back because he doesn't want to be exposed to that vehicle. I'm hearing the armor pieces starting to shoot. Vehicle, I think, got repaired, so they're trying to now bring that in. Question is, is this armor going to shoot at it? Oh, that round, I think, just missed and blew Lexico away. Now we're going to start seeing vehicles uh, halting here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Ah, frickin' drag glitch. I'm going to start attaching everything. And... So I'll have to bring that AT gun despawn. That's amazing. Again, this is why I hate working with statics. Just got that vehicle crew to decrew, which is nice. Yeah, but it still burns. I don't know, man. It's a weird one, that's for sure. Right. Looks like someone took over the uh, armored car. There's something bugging with their backpacks, too, and I don't know why. I might try re-setting the backpacks as well into something else because it might be those backpacks causing weird issues it's it's hard to say but they've been able to reform their defensive line here they got that much in there they gotta be careful because if they pull back they're gonna overpressure infantry I'm gonna probably wait another seven minutes before I start spawning stuff as well We do have this vehicle swinging around, but it looks like it's going to start coming around now. Maybe a 
vehicle's made its way up here. It's just gonna be a flanking piece. And there goes the BA-10. That's caused a bit of a mass chasm on the front, two people down. They just unloaded, they're gonna have to pull these guys back, but now the L-39 is the only weapon that's gonna be able to stop armor pieces. Oh, that's gonna be tough. But yeah, that desync is starting to get a little painful and I have no idea why it's existing. But regardless, we'll clean up some of the bodies here. And we've got infantry slowly advancing. They got medics working on the mass cases here. They've got some of the infantry pushed back. They're trying to clean up who they can at this point. At this point, I'm gonna tie everything to this vehicle so it starts charging ahead. I'll have one squad to carry on the rear. Because now we're going to start charging that line. You got this vehicle coming around, though. It might be the Molotovs also tying to it. Delete the bodies. Yeah, as soon as I deleted that, that got the desync spike. So I might have to look into changing the Molotov effects. That's unfortunate. The op is just desyncing hard now, and I have no real fix for it. Can't do anything against those particle effects either. But I'll go look and see if there's any clues in the uh, RPT. Let's see what solutions I can find. Yeah, I remember. God, these people are fucking retarded. I remember NF working quite well with the flame effect, but I don't know what they did to it, but now it's just really messy, you know? So who knows? You see if they're trying to rally everything here to pull back. However, they left their sandbags here, so... Have to see what they pull at this point. I'll keep following things through at one knot. But again, it's, it's going to be really hard for them to set up another defensive line because they don't have a lot of sandbags left because they didn't delete them. It's not a DDoS. It's too subtle. I think it's just a bunch of scripts causing weird things on the server. If I were to make a guess. No 
we didn't have any extra L29s or Maxims at base, correct? I can respawn the Maxin. I can respawn the Maxin if you come back to grab it. Uh, the L39, was it also not looted? I can respawn it then. Well, they either left it or it broke. I think it broke since they pivoted on the trench. Hmm. Alright, um... I know the Maxin broke because it got shot. Uh, did the L39 also break? I didn't see it broken, but I think they left it all. It's broken. If it's if it's at the trench, then it's broken. It's not at the trench. I, I saw them backpack it and run with it, so... Okay, well, that's fine. Otherwise, we're past the 90-minute mark. Uh, if you want, we can index now, or you can keep setting up defensive lines. It's up to you. Oh, that's fun. I'm having so much fun. All right, otherwise, you just have to hold for more uh, 30 more minutes. Oh yeah, that that's the back. fucking anti-tank team's motorcycle. Of course they left it behind. See, I love doing ops like these, but unfortunately people don't really listen. So I think Mac is being annoyed right now because he's been ordering people to do stuff and they haven't really been doing said stuff. They're trying to rally now. Trying to get all my forces to rally on a new unit. Some dudes are getting stuck. spawn no, never mind you can't tear the motorcycle This is all up to whether or not this guy decides to advance or not, so... Trying to parse everything. I think we just had that unit bleed out. Just been a fighting retreat at this point. They fire a little bit and then they pull back and stall. If I were to make a guess, it's the, uh... The Molotovs causing the current desync spikes because it doesn't know how to parse itself properly. So, I mean, if it's a Molotov issue, I could add a mod like Burnham and I could switch all the Molotovs to those Molotovs instead. Still 
So they still, I mean, if they do one more pullback, though, I think this force isn't going to request reinforcements from the central area. And that's just because these guys haven't been able to set up a solid defensive line. I'm hearing heavy rounds firing against those forces, though we do he see the big rounds coming in. They're trying to reset up the L-39. Because we still have some scout car, actually a single scout car. And that vehicle got stuck on a tree. They're trying to reset the Maxim. But we need to see that L-39 take it out. Mm, hope they have ammo. So I think they're running it to the road now. They're trying to place it on top of the sandbags, which is risky, because that risks it getting armored. So run it over here on the right, so they have a shot on the vehicle. Said they're putting it here. is not allowed to have stable internet, apparently. Do you want to get Max in ammo before you go? I need a backpack to carry it in. Check your inventory. Ooh. I need a baby. And again, he won't notice until he looks, but... Sorry, I'm being a dick. It's not his fault that the mod updated and broke the backpacks and now I have to manually put them down. But I would assume you'd want to request a TP after you got that sorted, but I could be wrong. Alright, so they're getting this reloaded. Assuming they have comms issues at the moment. That vehicle just went tits up. All right. So he's trying to basically reposition the group. Don't know why he's not talking to the squad leader about that, but oh well. Yeah, he's trying to put it in the middle right here because there's a gap where they would see the road. I mean, if they say they have a better position, though, they need to have their squad leader radio it back and say, negative, we have a good position right here, and we're going to continue to use it. But hey, that's just me. All right, 
So we're going to be spawning in more infantry squads to come up and assist with the push here. We still have this one scout car hitting forces up on that ridge. As they're utilizing the Maxim to basically hold anything back. However, it's drawing fire from that one vehicle, and if they do hit right, then that's it. But yeah, if the L-39 was positioned right here, I mean, they've got a really good view of it from this one spot. But he wants it over here, which does cover it a bit more. But again, this just shows a breakdown of communication. And you got uh, Sismo all the way over here. I think he's the runner. Which, yeah, it says team lead, but they're meant to be the runner slots. But I mean, this just means command needs to run a guy over to that area and tell him, hey, you need to move the gun. Because these guys are getting engaged by that one vehicle. And there's not much they can do about it. So I'd imagine comms right now just don't exist, unfortunately. Now, by the hour mark, I'm probably going to be running vehicles on the flanks here to envelop that position. I don't know why they just auto group to that one guy, but... Vehicle's now pulling back. All right, I'm gonna start bringing up armored reinforcements. Let's see. We'll do a B3 combo here. And you know what? We haven't done a... Yeah, it's right there. those up. Yeah, fun fact. They've killed an entire company of forces, though, or past the 300 mark. I think Max finally come over and yelled at this team, but they're not repositioning their gun. They're stating they've got good sight lines. But again, if they just moved a little to the left, they'd have better sight lines down the road. So. Who knows? Could potentially see them counterattack as well, but that would be very costly if they decide to do that. They're doing their best to hold. Just trying to manage the armored support coming in. I'm going to also send up these two bad boys. And for whatever reason, I've got those vehicles stalling out as well. Uh, Liko, you can always watch the VOD back on Twitch. Uh, it'll hit my YouTube VOD channel in a few days, either way, so. Up to you, buddy. So they've got... Oh, they're running up to try to steal the T-20. It does have a mobile machine gun. I can give it to them as a replacement for one of their transport trucks if they want. It is a funny choice, though. 
Well, yeah, I mean, it does fit eight people, so they could use it as a transport. Its engine and right track are completely disabled, though, so they could use it as a little mobile turret right here. Could everyone grab vehicles, etc. Or was that the scavengers, Joe? Um, anyone can grab a vehicle. It's just the scavengers are the only ones that can repair and have a fuel truck, but tankers can also repair, so. Uh huh. Okay. I, I added the rules a bit to be a bit more lax, so. Armored support slowly coming up to assist. trying to reorder the vehicles so they come up and assist, but they're just being a bit silly. How you doing, Sparkle? By the way, why did you put Skelly in the medical team? He's the only one I can rely on. Questioning everything at this point. What have I done to hurt you? So I think they just picked off the crew of that vehicle so they could try to run up and steal it as well because the armored support is literally slowing to a damn crawl. I'm going to send them up on their own at this point. Mobile Lord on 57, though. I think Ham's the only one that's actually... Okay, no, a few of them have died, but we don't have any two deaths yet. And it's 338 kills. So those extra points are just uh, vehicle deaths and whatnot. Because there's two skellies. There's his son and then... I have no idea what he got armored on, but I'm not going to question it. Oh, I hope my kid enjoys armor. Yeah, so Jay's running up to try to get it, but now we've got these tracked vehicles coming up. And they've abandoned that vehicle. Mac has now resorted to bitching. L-39 has now come out a bit more on the road, so they've got more coverage on the right side. And Jay's really going for it here. All right, I am going to deploy a T-28. Oh. One of these is a flamethrower tank. Oh. So the 130 is a flamethrower. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I didn't realize that. F-16 
So these guys getting flanked, they're gonna have to call for that L39 to come over and assist them on this side. These things have good positioning right here. Is he detract? No, he's just being silly. He's running for it. That one has its left turret disabled, but he might reposition it. Because I'm evil. <laughs> Roast him alive. Get Zeus Cash on this to try to fight the fact that this thing's taking so long. And he's still alive. Yeah, so fire effects just aren't doing anything anymore. Here we go. Twin machine guns opening up. Infantry continue to be stalled. Oh! And Jay gets blown away. Flamethrower vehicle got disabled, though. These guys still taking machine gun fire. They've abandoned their front line position. They're trying to make a defensive line back there. I think that was Jay's first life, too, so he's good. Just trying to smash defensive lines here and slowly advance everything. smoked that vehicle out and got it. I don't know why we have a guy there, but... At this point, we got forces rushing to their positions here. The medics are definitely working on what they got. L-39 is trying to set up here. They're doing a great job actually picking off vehicles that are still coming around. All right, we're gonna start wrapping it up because we're pretty much at time. So in order to make this work, I'm 
pull the forces back. So yeah, I'm gonna put a quick pull down to basically rally. Everything to pull back here. So there's gonna be three choices of operation. There's gonna be we can do a convoy hit. They can attack a weakened position, which is gonna further cripple the central advance. Actually, there's four choices, because they also got intel. notes down for the campaign's sake. They're going to have that BA-10 captured by default because it's in their territory. Oh, maybe not. I mean, if they opt to do another pullback. And then this vehicle, which is uh, T-26. 1931. These guys have their orders to pull back. <laughs> yeah, they had a Soviet run right up to him. It was a BA-10 for that. Uh, no, it was a BA-3, but even then, they're going to abandon it, so. That's fine. Ground, this is high message, over. Ground, this is high message over. Any station on this net, this is high, stand by for index. Okay, no, they got it. With it! Let's fucking go! <laughs> 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 Alright, awesome. right, break, break, break. Sorry. God, the hero's death. No, no, no. I, I appreciate that you guys uh, enjoyed that. Um, I didn't hear much over 50, though, which was concerning, so I'll just assume... The runners were doing their best. Actually, then again, now that I remember, I don't think squad leaders even have radios. We have to do everything via a runner. Uh, so my bad on that. Regardless, um, so here's the deal. The Soviets didn't really pull from the central garrison. They what's, What we're going to do in plot is they did uh, because they kept getting short stalled. However, as you guys pulled out, they were actually pulling back to wait for that convoy of reinforcements. Um, but let's go over the reported losses here and some other changes I might make. First off, uh, in terms of changes, I'm probably going to give an L-39 by default to the command crew. Just have it spawn as a static and you can do with it what you want because we get into a thing of if we don't prioritize having redundant AT capabilities, um, you, get, you just end up falling back constantly. 
um, and it just becomes a rate of attrition until armor comes up to you, so I want to at least give you something to be able to deal with that. And then if you want to get additional L39s, you can get them uh, through the uh, weapon teams. However, uh, if you lose it, it gets destroyed or armored or whatever, uh, you have to come back to the closest staging point to grab a new one. I think that would be more than fair. Uh, so I can attach them on respawn. I think what I'll also do is I'll just have the asset placed and then that way if it gets destroyed it can just be automatically respawned after like a 30 or 60 second timer and then everyone else will have backpacks the reason some units didn't have backpacks uh that should have for the ammo bears i think was because the mission uh nf updated or something because i noticed when i went to make this mission because it's been a month since we've done it um i got a issue with something in nf which means usually they updated something so i'm willing to bet they probably changed something with the backpacks which is why some kits that i know have backpacks because they switched to the l39s and we use them in the first mission and i know they had a backpack in the first mission uh now didn't and i noticed that some things are being weird with that backpack too so it there's something potentially buggy with it so i'll just redo all of the uh, kits with that there was also a lot of desync a lot of it seemed to be tied to the uh molotovs so i'm going to clean up the mod set uh, I'm going to potentially add Burnham, though, to use Burnham Molotovs. Uh, it's still going to be a little desinky, but it's probably going to not be as bad as those. Because I also think, for whatever reason, NF isn't doing the thing anymore where if you throw Molotovs on a vehicle, it doesn't kill the crew inside. I've been having to manually do it the past two missions. I know it used to, though, when we first ran this three years ago. So I don't know what changed there, but I'll look into fixing that. Um... Well, yeah, overall, hope you guys had fun. It, this was definitely a lot cleaner than the first run, uh, but I think that it uh, it did fairly well. Uh, if you have any feedback, feel free to pass it to me on the uh, feedback channel. Um, after I finish speaking, uh, I will put a poll in the poll community, or not poll community, poll chat, because there's going to be four options for uh, the next set of missions to do. Um, the first two are going to be either doing a raid directly on the center uh, central group, which will further stall them, or you can do a raid on the southern group. Southern group, though, is going to be more fortified, but it's also going to potentially have more stuff to grab. Central group is more of a guarantee that you'll be successful in your raid, but there will be less stuff to grab overall because you already hit them and they already lost a big chunk of their assets. Third mission is going to be interesting because I am going to roleplay that they did call the reinforcements down, but they're in transit, so we can do an immediate daytime ambush of that position and we'll bring in the specialist groups as well and make a strike team so that's going to be a very quick mission uh we'll say there's like two or three convoys coming down and you'll have to constantly move up to hit the convoys but you can also bring in the mine laying groups and all this other stuff uh but i'll explain that uh and then the fourth mission there was some intel found in the first raid night which was the previous mission uh where they are planning to set up artillery positions and aa positions uh, so what we can do is two parts of one, we can put mines on where they're going to be putting those spots. That way later in the campaign, you don't have to worry about heavy artillery placements because they'll be stalled by an op or two once they realize that those positions have been compromised. Um, and then there'll be associated camps nearby that you can also hit that um, tie into their scouting bases. Um, that mission we don't have to do just yet, though, because you guys have been good at keeping Op 4 back, but definitely, like, two or three missions down the line of the main missions, because these are the side things, uh, that's going to be a lot more helpful, because you'll start taking artillery fire from spots that you won't be able to do anything against. Regardless, those will be the choices. We'll just go with the majority. Um, I'll let MacBrain speak, and then I gotta jump. Uh, for everyone here, I already took a picture of everyone that was in the op, so... Give me till tomorrow morning to get everyone on the training dock. But again, I think that was three points total. So, Matt, go ahead. Okay. Um, the first squad did fine. They listened to orders and set up where I wanted them to do. Uh, tank. Uh, do not expose your side to the enemy or your rear to the enemy when you're moving. That's how you get killed. Immediately. Fair. Uh, don't forget your anti-tank vehicle. You forgot the fucking motorcycle in the, one of the defensive lines when you pulled back. We couldn't find it in the chaos. We thought somebody stole it. But, fair. Somebody did steal it, I think. Go ahead and continue. Uh, Maxim team. 
I don't know how many how you had so many problems with the ammo. And some of them disappeared or something. Fuck if I know. What, honey? Okay, I'll be up in uh, three minutes, okay? Second team, for fuck's sake, open the goddamn map. Sure, um, I got a glass, though. And, uh, look, you're supposed to go. As for the messengers or runners, I'll tell you to tell them something very specific. Just tell them what I said. And nothing else. It leaves no room for interpretation. Because on the first defensive line, I told the second team to pull back. And what happened, they pulled back into the wrong position, and they also removed the Maxim from position. I didn't tell them to do that, so don't do that. It's very bad. Uh, uh, it got oh. And that the uh, other defensive lines... Well, squad one fortified where they were supposed to, second just kind of went wherever they wanted. And at the last line, you were also in the wrong position. Yay, so the anti-tank gun was far away from the friendlies, and we got flanked. And when I told the anti-tank gun to move twice, uh, they didn't, and you got flanked. Uh, also, if I tell you to pull back, and you're medicking a man who has a boo-boo on his foot, you load the man into the car, and then you start medicking him when you're driving away from the enemy. So... The thing that enemy tanks won't have up to you and kill you while you're medicing him won't happen. Uh, this happened a couple of times again. Please listen. If we're trying to pull back, we're not trying to medic a single man because there's a wound on his leg. You put the man into the car, and then you jump into the car, and then you do medical because he's already stable. Or, he's not fatal. Fuck's sake. Uh, first, I guess. Oh, yeah. Skelly got put in the medical. Fuck me. The only one I trust to do anything is in medical team. Kill me, please. That's about it. First squad. Yeah. Uh, Jeez. we went to the first place. I had the medics that were on the alpha, or the specialists that were on the alpha, put up into the respective squads that were that we wanted. And then we just held position from there. So I will say, uh, I, I looked at the map, right? And then you're going to have squad one uh, be like south, like by the road. And then I was going there and then it was changed. That's quite frustrating. So I, like constantly changing the position on the map is... Well, I changed it because I thought you had the machine gun, but you had the medics with you. So we switched the second had the machine gun, so they're going to the road. I sent a runner, but he didn't get there until he noticed. Uh, otherwise, we pull back we, uh, when we needed to, and then we uh, yeah, did stuff. I mean, you probably said what, most of what we did. What to? Empire. All right. Um, so real quick, real quick. I got to jump, guys. Uh, I just put the poll in so you can choose what op you want to do. I will see you guys later. Thanks, Larry. All right. All right. Have a good one, guys. Thanks. All right. Uh, I have dinner. So we will be back maybe later for some mission dev. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Cooperate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers. And have a good one.